Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is the 3rd of March 2023. Uh, welcome to the Head Teachers Update from Maiden Early School. Uh, really pleased to have invited Feeling Fruity in, which is an organisation that plants um, fruit trees, and that was founded by Ryan and James. Uh, earlier this week, 45 year 7 and 8 students planted 12 fruit trees at the back of the school field. There was apples, there was plums, there was pears. Um, absolutely superb. Can't wait to see them grow and obviously pick the fruit when they come ripe. This year we're supporting Red Nose Day 2023 with the Maiden Early Push-Up Marathon. We're going to be asking students to upload their push-up videos, whether they do 5, 10, 50, more. Um, all entries being uploaded to their house Google Classroom and we're going to make it into a house competition as well. We'd like to invite all students to contribute to this cause and make a voluntary contribution of £1 via parent pay. Um, they should be made by Friday the 24th of March and we will obviously donate that then to Red Nose Day. The best entries will be given a chance to perform and challenge uh, members of staff in a live push-up event on Friday the 24th of March. Apparently I've been roped into that one as well. I don't suspect I'll get past one, let alone five. Um, but thank you in advance to everyone who's taking part and thank you to everyone making contributions. Uh, World Book Day was yesterday. I'm sure you saw on social media lots of children dressing up for World Book Day and we set some work for year 79 on World Book Day. Um, but we have obviously had to postpone the celebrations, but we are going to be doing our own Maiden Early Book Day in the summer term. So, and students will still benefit from the £1 book tokens. Um, they are electronic and be printed or presented on a mobile phone. Uh, it can be redeemed to cover the cost of one promotional book or towards the cost of any full price book and is valid until the 29th of March. Information on the voucher can be found at that link below. Obviously, we really, really value reading at the school. We've got the tutor reading program. We've got our high five initiative, which allows us to talk through how we encourage students to read in lessons. So doing pre-reading, during reading and after reading as well. So we're really pushing reading in the school and we appreciate it if you can do so at home as well too. One of the benefits of my job is that I get to see lots of other schools and on Wednesday I visited a fantastic school in London and one of the ideas that they had which I really like the idea of was a digital detox and um, we're going to be offering this in school in the coming weeks and months certainly for year 11 and 13 but at home I'm encouraging you to do the same and um, parents and children alike having a digital detox for the weekend put the phones down put the Xbox down put the Playstations down and do something slightly different and um, obviously we can't enforce that nor would I want to and um, I'm going to be trying it with my children this weekend as well so I'm going to be off the work emails give it a go and as I say more information will come with regards to the services we're going to be providing as a school for our students approaching exams with regards to a digital detox a save the date moment for everyone and that's from year seven all the way through to year 13 the maiden early trust annual careers fair is back in person we're excited to see it being uh, being back on the school site and that's tuesday the 9th of march between six and eight and that is for all students that will help uh, the year eights through their option choices that will help the year 11s in terms of their next destinations that will help year 13s if they're going into apprenticeships year 12 deciding what they do next and um, we have got a range of careers available ranging from animal care, clinical research, engineering, electrical and energy, finance, food science, health care, media, uniform services, obviously universities as well, and many, many more. So please do save the date. That's between six and eight. We are actively encouraging people to walk in if possible. School site can only accommodate a certain number of cars um, and we're inviting every school across the trust. So locally from our school, if you could walk in, that would be fantastic. Um, we're keeping an eye on the weather, of course. We do um, some really a cold blast next week and we'll update you if anything changes. Um, students don't need to wear uniform, so they can just come in their own attire. Uh, all the forecasts and news are suggesting that the temperature takes a, a turn for the cooler next week and there may be potential for snow. As always, we will conduct our remote learning policy if we need to at that particular point. Obviously, fingers crossed, we're hoping that we don't have to. It's such an important time for the pupils, but health and safety comes first. Um, we will update you through all of our different social media channels and also through email. So if we do see snow overnight, um, please do keep an eye on your emails and we will update you on any provision that we need to. Numbers returning the parent survey are still incredibly low, folks. Please, can I ask for your support in this matter? If you're happy with everything we do, that's wonderful. Let us know. If you're not so happy, let us know. If you're a little bit meh, let us know. It's so, so important because what this does is drive my school improvement plan for next year. And we can focus on areas that as parents you want us to focus on. So far, as I say, the numbers are quite low. It doesn't take too long to fill in. You can do it over a cup of coffee uh, or over a glass of wine in the evening, but please, can I ask for your support in this matter? If you haven't done the parent survey already, please do. Put it in big, bold letters and underline there. Just click on the link and go for it. Thanks, everyone. Last weekend was less than enjoyable for me uh, with Blackpool getting beat by Reading. I'm hoping this weekend will be a lot happier. Um, I hope your weekend is happy too. Have a fantastic couple of days. Stay safe, and I look forward to seeing students on Monday.